In 2013, Animal Planet aired a documentary called Mermaids The New Evidence. It was a follow-up to a previous documentary called Mermaids The Body Found, and the show had a record 3.6 million viewers. Although it was later proven to all be a hoax with actors, it showed people's interest and believability that mermaids could actually exist. Let's dive into this video and explore the supposed encounters, facts, and myths surrounding mermaids, and see if there's any possibility they could have or still be real. Sit back and enjoy. Today's description and territory. The name mermaid comes from mer, meaning sea, the male version of this is merman, and the mythical creature is normally depicted as half woman or man and half fish, living deep within the ocean in the South Atlantic, South Pacific, and Indian Oceans. Most mermaids are described as visions of beauty with beautiful flowing hair, although in some cultures they have been described as monstrous and ugly. They are often shown sat on a rock admiring themselves in a mirror or singing in an attempt to lure young human men. However, mermen are the opposite. They have been depicted throughout history as having no interest in humans and are more elusive and much uglier than their female counterpart. Throughout the centuries, mermaids have featured in seafaring cultures in different forms and are usually considered unlucky or mischievous, often associated with perilous events such as floods, storms, shipwrecks, and drownings, especially if they are treated unkindly. Although in some traditions, they are regarded as benevolent creatures who bring goodwill and happiness. It's said that mermaids live for a very long time, but according to some legends, do not have a soul. In 1863, Hans Christian Andersen wrote the well-known fairy tale, The Little Mermaid, a story that inspired operas, paintings, books, comics, and of course, the Disney films. It's a heartwarming tale of a mermaid falling in love battling evil and living happily ever after as a human. Since then, mermaids and men have been a big part of mythical lore, but if we take things back, just how long have they been around for? Where did they originate and early sightings? The earliest depiction of a mermaid-like figure was the ancient Syrian goddess, Atargidis, which signified fertility and well-being. She was typically depicted as fish-bodied and human-headed and was associated with water. Mermaid-like creatures are also mentioned in Pliny's Natural History, a book written in Latin by Roman author Pliny the Elder that dates back to 77 AD. In it, he talks of Nereids and describes the portion of the body that resembles the human figure is still rough all over with hair. In Greek mythology, they were presented as half beautiful women and half fish and considered as evil who lure men to their deaths with their bewitching singing. In 1430 in the Netherlands, it's told that after the dams near the town of Eden burst during a storm, some local girls were out on the floods in a boat when they found a mermaid floundering in shallow, muddy waters. They rescued her, took her home and dressed her. However, they were unable ever to teach her to speak and she remained completely mute for the rest of her life. Other more well-known encounters were described by explorers as they embarked and discovered the world. Most notably in 1493, when Christopher Columbus wrote in his diary, the day before when the Admiral was going to Rio del Oro, he said he saw three mermaids who came quite high out of the water. Although it's now widely accepted that what was witnessed was a manti, it shows even back then people thought mermaids were real. John Smith of Pocahontas fame also claimed to have caught sight of a mermaid off the Newfoundland in 1614, noting that her long green hair imparted to her an original character that by no means was unattractive. But hundred or thousand year old encounters are hard to use as evidence in the discussion of real life mermaids. So have there been any more recent encounters? Most believable encounters and evidence. Over the last few years, there have been hundreds of so-called mermaid sightings, but let's dissect just a few of them. In 2009, in the Israel town Kirat Yam, it was claimed that a mermaid was witnessed by both locals and tourists. It's alleged she would come out at night and was described as being part young woman and part fish. 
she became known as the Kirat Yam Mermaid, and became so popular that the local council offered a substantial reward to anyone who could prove her existence. To date, no one has claimed the reward. In 2012, construction crews working on Gokwe and Osborne Dams in Zimbabwe were reported to have been driven offside by a mermaid. Her appearance was considered to be a bad omen, and workers refused to finish construction on the dam. The situation got so bad that in an attempt to appease the irritated mermaids, it was decided that a ritual was to be performed to encourage workers back so the dam could be completed. Another well-documented mermaid sighting was a little further back in 1943 during World War II. I've mentioned this one briefly before. Japanese soldiers had set up a surveillance team on an island in Indonesia, and several of the team reported seeing a small humanoid figure in the water, with spines on its back and head, and a mouth like a carp. The mermaid figure was often seen playing in lagoons and near the beach shores of the island. After speaking to the indigenous people of the island, they discovered that the mermaid-like creature was a known entity called the Orang Ikan, or human fish. One evening, the sergeant of the team, Mr. Taro Hariba, was summoned by the chief of the nearby village, and was told a dead Orang Ikan had been found on the beach, and would he like to view it. Hariba then entered the chief's house to find one of the creatures spread out on the floor. He describes it as small with red-brown hair, spines along its neck, a humanoid face with a lipless, fish-like mouth full of needle-sharp teeth. After returning to Japan, Hariba told of his encounters and urged zoologists to investigate the phenomena. However, no one took him seriously, and because he had no photographic evidence, he was widely ridiculed. What could they actually be, according to science? So are mermaids just a case of mistaken identity? After all, despite all the sightings, there is no scientific evidence that aquatic humanoids do or ever have existed. But why have so many seafaring people over the years been convinced of their existence? While it seems the most likely culprits could be sea cows, which are a group of mammals that include duggans and mantis. Today, there are only four species of them left, three mantis and one duggan. A fifth species, known as Stella's sea cow, went extinct in the early 18th century due to being overhunted by humans. They are the ocean's largest herbivore, and are a slow-moving creature that live in marine and freshwater habitats, in tropical and subtropical regions. They have a torpedo-shaped body, two front flippers, and a broad flat tail, either spoon or V-shaped. At one time, they would have had visible hind limbs, but have lost these over the course of adaption. Adults can grow to lengths of between 2.8 and 3.5 meters, and can weigh anywhere between 400 and 1,500 kilograms. Their closest living relative is an elephant, and their main predators are humans. Much like what Christopher Columbus and others have described, they are known to rise out of the sea, like the alluring temptresses of Greek myth, and occasionally perform tail stands. They are also quite vocal, in a quiet sort of way and communicate with each other with gentle sounds. Their front limbs contain five sets of finger-like bones, and they can turn their heads unlike other sea mammals. This along with their masculine-looking faces could also be mistaken for a human from afar, especially in the dark or mist of the sea. After Columbus discovered the Americas and wrote about his encounter with mermaids, sideshows across Europe cashed in on the mermaid vibe and would advertise recently discovered mermaids from the New World these were often deceased sea cows. Myth or real? Like all mythical creatures, until there is conclusive proof they do not exist, we like to believe they do. And unlike some myths, mermaids are not a modern phenomenon. Like I said, they've been talked about for centuries. So is it possible that back in the dark distant past, they were actually real? Well, if they were, they wouldn't be like we imagine today. If history is anything to go by, they would be a lot more creepy than what we think. But in reality, if they were half human and half fish, they would not be able to survive. They would freeze to death. The human part of them would not be able to live for long periods in the water. Evolutionary speaking, an animal cannot have both human and fish characteristics. And how would they reproduce? Would they lay eggs like a fish, or give birth to live babies like a mammal? Or are they mammals that lay eggs like a platypus? 
In reality, there is just no physical evidence of their existence. And if they did or have existed, it would change the face of science as we know it. There are some that believe the existence of mermaids, similar to the existence of aliens, have been covered up. Although unlike aliens, the incentive to cover up mermaids would be a lot less. But then again, the ocean is a huge and vastly unexplored area, meaning the likelihood of mermaids residing there is just as likely as any other mythical creature. So in closing off episode 3 of our Mythical Creatures series, I hope you've enjoyed this video on mermaids. Don't forget to head over to destinationdeclassify.com if you believe in mermaids and grab your I Believe beanie from the store. These things look amazing. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.